Now it's recording. All right, this here is Felipe, and with me is McBeardy and Twiggets, and this is the Wingcast. Do 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 do. Cheap graphics or sick cheap sound, cheap sound effects. Which one is it? Which one's what? Is it graphics or sound effects? It is sound effects. Okay. I imagined sound effects, and it was like the football introduction to every NFL game that ever was. Yeah. And it's like uh, this, it's like a giant chicken wing in platinum crashing with what I would imagine. Hey, I'm Twig, it's them here. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for introducing yourself. Yeah, we appreciate that. Was I supposed to introduce myself, or are they just supposed to know I'm the beard? You're the third one, yeah. yeah all right. Most one. enthusiastically, it's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> you, don't, you don't sound enthusiastic at all. Could you put a little pep in your voice or something, maybe? In response, no, I cannot. Is it Stephen Hawking? What are you doing over there? <laughs> it's a... Uh, you type in your voice? This is a... Uh... That's a that's a Mass Effect thing. The the the, the Elnor. Or some, I hope this isn't copyrighted. I hope it's not copyrighted. I think we can say say Stephen Hawking, can we? No, Stephen Hawking's not uh, copyrighted. I think it's the uh, the Elnor. Right. The what? The Elnor from uh, Mass Effect. Oh, gotcha. They're a race of... They are pronounced the Elcor. Oh. See, I, I, I didn't get it right. do that stupid voice the whole time? Insultingly, maybe. <laughs> I hate you so much. Why don't you stop? There's no need you for this. You say what emotion you were feeling. I am not an Elcor. I am a machine. Cry, 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 cry. What is love? What the hell is going on right now? Baby, don't tell me. I thought it was baby, don't hurt me. Yeah, it's don't hurt me. You you know, I, yeah, that would be copyright, so I changed the lyrics. So keep this legal. So did you just screw up the copyright? Uh, no, because it wasn't part of the song. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Yes, because. (laughs) Do we have to worry about copyright? Because of spontaneous laughter. My God. We're not getting paid. Do we have to worry about copyright? I don't think we have to worry yes. about copyright. Yes, we do. Copyright is always a thing, even in our movie theaters. Dun, <laughs> dun, dun! What do they copyright in the movie theaters? Everything. <laughs> Why you just get I don't know. I that probably won't pick up on the recording, but... Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> I hope half of what you say isn't picked up on the recording, because, you know, it's useless, really. <laughs> Because you're twigged. No one cares. So, so, anyway, this episode, this pilot episode of sorts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was a segue for you. Oh, I thought you had a topic of conversation you wanted. Oh, oh yeah. that's right. We're doing random. I mean, what what are we doing here? You have obviously no clue. Well, I... Let's talk about shapes. Shapes? What's your favorite shape? Oh, I don't want to talk about shapes. I like rectangles. Yeah, well, nobody cares. It's, I like, like a rene- it's like a renegade square. I like... <laughs> I like hexagons, because they remind me of bees. And bees remind me of honey. And honey is good. I like whatever shape I can be wiggets with. That would be a rectangle. Yeah. Well, I, that I, would be such a cool fate. I like I like the big circular poles that I can beat Twiggy with. Oh, I hope I hope you weren't going to end that with anything I was about to say. That's what she said. No, I I know your propensity for that that phrase. I'm trying to <laughs> refrain from doing anything that might lead to that. Wait, I think I may have just left you one. That's what he. That's what they said. <laughs> so <laughs> airless. 
I killed that one, didn't I? Yeah, it may, may have been good, may have been bad. People use that a lot. That's what they say. <laughs> Can we talk about how horrible Twiggis is? I mean... No, it's not a good conversation, please. I think it is. He might be the worst human being ever. You know who's not a worst human being ever? Who's that? Nardog. Nardog is pretty cool. That's true. Yeah. Nardog once fought back a Nazi invasion in 1999, um, thanks to a revolution in uh, cybernetic technology. That is amazing. Yeah, there was only like six of them. But, but Nardog only did that through the help of McBeardy. That's true. Buggy's McBeardy is all over the place. He goes where he's needed. Well, Rugged McGreary is sort of like, it's like Gone with the Wind, but with beards. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a beard. It's <laughs> a good one. I like that line. That's, that sold the whole movie. It did. It did. There was, there was a movie about the yeah. beard. Gone with the beards. Gone with the beards. I didn't see it. You were in it. Uh, I lived it. Yeah, you were every character. Wow, that's impressive. It is. Must have been not working. many people can pull that off. Tyler that's Perry. Cool. Actually, nobody can pull that off. Only a beard can pull that off. Ty- Tyler Perry can. I thought you said Halle Berry. No. <laughs> Co-starring. Co-starring Halle Berry as Halle Berry as the kitchen sink, the chair, half of the studio. As long as she's not playing Catwoman, right? <laughs> oh! This oh, kitty can that, scratch! That movie was very bad. I, I, I watched about 30 minutes of it. And I, I watched the whole it. thing. Well, and I killed myself afterwards. And yet here you are talking to us. Go figure. I got better. No, yeah. alright. As long as you got better. Yeah. Nardog healed him. No, well, he, I, he, I don't think Nardog could do that. The big beardy can. Yeah, that's probably that. Big well, beardy might have done it. Might uh, have taken mercy once in his life. Nah, mm-hmm. He doesn't show mercy often. Yeah. I don't know. Just Maybe don't. everybody gets one. And that was... That was Spider-Man. Nope. Nardog. I think Spider-Man probably stole that from Rugged McBeardy, to be honest. He did. Yeah. He, lied to me. he stole that from Rugged McBeardy. And Rook, well, you you should have known that because uh, there was that there was that uh, copyright battle that you had with them, and Spider Man was he was pretty furious about it. But okay. that's when Kent Dangler walked in, and he made everything better. Wow, I think I remember Kent Dangler, but I have no recollection of this He's my hero, Kent well, Dangler. Yep. Well, Kent Dangler is the co-assistant slash personal friend. Of Buford T. Justice. Oh, I know Buford T. Justice. He is one of the greatest American, half Native American, who's from India slash uh, Chinese with a quarter Japanese and three fourths Russian with a pint of Irish. American. Pints? Yes. <laughs> I just wanted to point out he's three quarters Russian. A quarter Japanese and half Chinese? Yes. He that, transcends. That's more than 100%. I just want to point that out. That's because he's 500%. Oh. Uh-huh. But we don't know the other percentage. Gotcha. Because that's that's yet to be seen. No. Oh. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Not, very, not very many people do. That was in his uh, autobiography he did. And that was the only one he would ever do. And after the autobiography was done, uh, his orders were to burn it. Did he? He did. Then how did you read it? It was a one-time showing, live, at oh. the Apollo. At the Apollo? The he, Apollo. He burnt the Apollo down. Oh, wow. that's what people, happened to it. I think people would get mad about that. It, 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 was, home split up. it was in space. Twiggins, what the hell? Just saying, after five years, man. Who cares? 
Five long years. It was actually it was, a, it was actually Apollo 13, and all that took place on the 13th Apollo building. No, the the shuttle. So he burnt the shuttle down after it landed. He can only he just crash the shuttle into into various the things. Well, no, he he lets people get off. And before he before he does, he doesn't want no one dying inside because it was like a really big shuttle that was big enough to hold an amphitheater, an amphitheater of people. Pretty sure those were pretty small. Those were from NASA, but he built this himself. He not meant the Apollo building. The building was really small. I mean, NASA built the Apollo stage thing with the hook, the thing you're talking about. Keep, yeah, you know. Alright, I'm, I'm confused now, so I know anybody else who's listening is probably confused. We Tom look. Cruise turns 50 on Tuesday. What are you looking at when you know Tom Cruise's birthday? I... Don't worry, man. Anyway, he's old. What? I didn't know he was 50. Yeah, right? Are you just... Are you on, like, Tom Cruise's Wikipedia page? What are you I doing? wish. No. I'm just, you know... Bringing some 75 degrees out right now. Low fare. High of 101. But wait, what's the, uh, what's the wind chill? The wind chill in summer? Yeah. 27 degrees. Yeah, see? Yeah, that's it's how... a very deadly Arctic wind. Flowing straight from Canada. What? Yep. It's a giant ice cube. Why are you flying in the wind? Shouldn't it just go wherever it wants? Well, I mean, it was so hot, and so now I was like, well, you know, I like extreme opposites, so I got some freezing winds in. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know. It's Miller time. I still want to know what it's Miller time. Yep. Oh, I don't have any Miller. I no, have... the guy. The guy. Time for Miller. Oh, I was about to yeah. say, I have grape drink, so... I was drinking milk. I don't know if that counts. That counts. Uh, yeah, Miller is a big fan of milk. Mm-hmm. You have appeased the Miller. Well, that's good. I wouldn't want to have to hurt the Miller. <laughs> the Miller is appeased. I mean, if I, if I have to hurt the Miller, I will. Because, you know, it's what the beard does. The beard obeys. And the beard does. As it will. A beard chooses, a man obeys. A beard chooses, a man shaves. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at this guy. Philosopher. Look at this guy. Uh, look at this guy. Uh, this guy. It loses the effect because I'm doing the thing with my hands and no one's around to see it. Oh, yeah, I only did the voice. I'm not... Well, I mean, I'm right next to you, so it's cool. That's true. We're all in the watchtower. Yeah. yeah. We're all right there. Yeah, but no one else can see it, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, I see it, point. Thanks. Yeah. Good job, there, Twiggets. Yeah. I see everything from the watchtower. You know, this is why no one likes you. you know, all I... along the watchtower, I see things. Really? You're going yep. to... Yeah. You're going to do <laughs> well, that? I did bring that up, and yep, that happened. Yeah, you got that on a Wikipedia page over there somewhere with Tom Cruise? I mean, what are you doing? It's not, it wasn't Wikipedia. Well, what did you look it up with Tom Cruise? No, you no. Tom Cruise. It was just the top story. The top story on what? Hey, so Spider-Man's coming out. <laughs> the third. Yeah, yep. happy Oh my gosh, Tom Cruise's birthday. I wonder if he's going to see it for it. <laughs> What is it with you and Tom Cruise? Cause now he's on the mind. He just cruise right into my way. <laughs> Why do you keep changing the subject every time we bring up Tom Cruise? Unbreak my heart. Me and crush on Tom Cruise. Is that what it is? Maybe. It was Maybe. five years ago, and I witnessed it that day. He left me for cable. Twiggets, Twiggets, Kate. Twiggets. Kate. It, it's all right, Twiggets. Kate, Katie Moss. Kate. Kate, oh, Katie Holmes. Yeah. I was just going to keep saying last names. Until she's, she's up for the right one. 